Hello and welcome to my install instructions video for OpenXCOM Extended and the Warhammer 40k mod for OpenXCOM Extended. If you already have OXCE installed on your system, then you can skip ahead in this video to the part where I start discussing how to install the mod itself. If you have not, you will need to go to our mod.io page, scroll down to where it says dependencies, and click the link for OpenXCOM Extended. This brings up Open OpenXCOM Extended's page with a link to the OpenXCOM forums where we have the download for Windows. So this video is going to cover how to install for Windows. So you will click this link to get the download file. I've already downloaded it. So here it is in my downloads folder, extended-5.2, which is the release that we're using right now and the date of the release. So next part you will do is unzip it. I use WinZip to use, un extract this type of archive. I unzipped it here. And then I went ahead and created a folder on my desktop called OXCE and placed the files from this archive into that folder. It contains common and standard, which are data files for OpenXCOM, UFO and TFTD, which are the locations where you will need to install your original game files in order for them to run on OpenXCOM, and the EXE for the game itself. In UFO, you will find a README file that says this is the location to copy all of the original game files and which folders from the files you should have in UFO when you're done. Now I have the original files from a Steam copy of XCOM UFO Defense. So in order to copy those, we'll need to find where Steam put them. By default, they're installed to drive C, program files x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, XCOM UFO defense. Now to find the folders that were mentioned in the readme, you need to go into this XCOM folder. And here we have the files that we need. So we want geodata, geographs, maps, routes. Oh, I should have been holding control. Maps, routes, sound, terrain, UFO graph, UFO intro, and units. Copy those files, paste them into the UFO folder of our OXCE install. Now at this point, you are completely done installing if you want to just play the original game on OpenXCOM Extended. You can run the EXE and it will start playing the intro of the original game. We'll skip this part because we want to get to the other parts of installing the game. So now when you get the original game folders, there are some errors in the data that comes from the original game. So to fix those, the OpenXCOM community has prepared a universal patch that will update the game files to the most recent non-buggy version. So if you go to the openxcom.org website, downloads, extras, you'll find data patches. We want the one for UFO. So I've already downloaded the UFO data patch. So if we go to my downloads, I have this universal patch with a number of folders. What we'll want to do is go to our UFO folder in OXCE and copy all of these files into that while replacing any of the files that are already in the destination folder. So now we have a patched copy of the original XCOM UFO defense files. And this completes the install for Open XCOM Extended. Now that we've run the EXE once, we have a new folder that was created by the game in your documents folder. This Open XCOM folder contains the options, the log file, 
the location for your mods, and your save game files, XCOM 1 for XCOM UFO Defense, and when you run it, 40k for the 40k mod. Now to install the mod, we need to get the files from the website. So if you go to our mod.io page, you'll find releases listed here. The one with the trophy being our current active release. So this is the full version of the mod. If you're installing it new, you should get this one. There's also a link to that one directly at the top of the page. Now I purposely downloaded this version, 40K version 017. If you want the newest version, of course, it's 018. But I did this because I wanted to, wanted to show later in this video how to update from 017 to 018 using our smaller uh, reduced download package. But before we get to that, we need to install 017. So if we go to my downloads, I have the zip archive. 40k017, which contains these folders, which are our mods, the main 40k mod, the stat strings mod, and the Imperial Fists reskin for the Space Marines. Now to install the mod itself, you will need to copy the files into Documents, Open XCOM, Mods. And so you can see here I have 40k, 40k stat strings, and Imperial Fists just like from my zip file over here. At this point, we can go to my desktop where I installed OXCE, run the EXE, and go to Options, Mods. So to, inst to activate 40K, you'll notice it's not in this, this list of mods because it is known as uh, master mod so that it reduces the number of common and standard mods available. So you can see from this dot drop down that after we're done, you will have only chapter change, which is the Imperial Fists mod, and the stat strings available. Now you can flip on either of them at this point. Um, I will turn this on. I don't like stat strings, so I'll leave it off. When you click OK, Open XCOM Extended will restart, and you have successfully installed the 40K mod. Now, right now, we only support the uh, we only support US English, as that's the only translations we have for our mod files. So, go if you go to Options, Video, Display Language, set it to English, US for now. In future versions. Perhaps, I think it's even this version of OpenXCOM Extended, even if it has a different display language, it should default to our English strings when, uh, when for the fact that we don't have translations for all of them. All right, so at this point, you can go ahead and enjoy the Warhammer 40K mod. Now, if we've come up with a new release, which I have, um, this is why I purposely downloaded this older version. You can either go to your mods file and just delete all of these contents, download the newer release, and extract them here so that your mods folder looks like this again. If you want to do the reduced download, however, you can use this file here that says 40k underscore no anims for no animations underscore 018. So this is the update folder or update archive. And I've given some text instructions here, but I'll also show you here graphically how you do it. So in our 40k no anims or reduced download, there's only the 40k folder because right now we didn't change stat strings or imperial fists. So what you can do is go to your 40k folder and keep the following files. You'll want to keep sound or yes, sound. Let me make sure I know. Um, you want to keep 
resources slash anims and resources slash sound and 40k slash sound. So in this folder, we can go ahead and delete everything. that we are not going to use when we update. And go into the resources folder. and delete everything but the sound and the animations file, since those are the largest files in our archive. And now you're left with a 40K folder that's much smaller than before. So what you'll want to do is get this file from the reduced download, copy it into mods, and this will take a little while as it still has a good number of resources to extract, but not the entire mod. So this again is in a more advanced way of updating. If you're not comfortable going through and manually modifying the files, I recommend just using the full download, delete the entire contents of this folder and replace it with the contents of the new download. Again, that is in documents, open extended, documents, open XCOM, mods, and then our list of mods. And we are a little bit over halfway complete here. Once that is done, we should be able to start open XCOM extended and have version 018, which is the latest. So Go ahead and wait for that to complete. Okay, so now when we start Open XCOM Extended, it should start the Warhammer 40k mod. If you look in mods, we have updated to, uh, right here it says version 017. I don't believe that is correct. Let me check again. It may have, I just might have, yes, I, uh, I downloaded the wrong, or installed the wrong um, metadata file. Anyways, this is the updated um, the updated version. So that's the way to install an update without having to download our entire 240 megabyte archive. I want to thank you all for watching and I will see you either in my Let's Plays or if I have to do another tutorial video. Cheers!